Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft Season 9 with me, Force Symmetry, and my new friend, Mr. Goat. How you doing, Mr. Goat? You, you, he, he doesn't like being on camera. Okay, fair enough. Anyway, today we're going to be working on two amazing projects. Uh, one quite small, and we're going to get that done first, but the other fairly large. Oh, look at that, creepers are dropping through. Oh, that's good. I could do with some more gunpowder and rockets for sure. Because today we're going to be working on the factory, because currently the factory only consists of a, a couple of floating farms. Well, one floating farm. Wait, can you count this as two farms? Technically, it is uh, the, the drowned farm and also the mob farm. So technically it's two farms and it's working wonderfully. A creeper just dropped down and died. Kind of amazing. I'm not, I'm not actually sure though if that bit's broken. I might need to fix this. But currently, the only factory part is the rooms that I've worked on, as you saw in previous episodes, which I have been working on a little bit more. I have expanded the bee farm. It's now uh, doing pretty well. It's got uh, both glass bottles and also shears, uh, so I can get a mixture of the honeycomb and honey bottles. Although I think I want more honey bottles than honeycomb, because I'm going to need some more honey blocks for my shop. Well, I guess I kind of need a lot of both of these things. So actually working over here is going to be great today because not only can I breed up some more bees, I can also gather the stuff, make some blocks, and hopefully in the future we'll have enough blocks to build the interior of our, well, our baked bean shop because technically that thing has been waiting for a long, long while to be built and it's kind of frustrating me, but honey takes a long while, okay? That's all I'm going to say. But before we get started today on this project, we're going to quickly look at what I've been doing to prep the uh, smaller project today over at the main base. And that is that I dug it out. I made it all ready and dug out the shape and size that I think I want for it. And we're going to do something quite simple with this. We're going to keep it quite classic, at least classic false, I would say, uh, and make it a nethery theme inside this little space, just to bring a little bit of contrast, because I feel like if I just go with the theme that my base is currently, it's not going to work well for the nether portal. Uh, so I kind of want this thing to look kind of wild almost like the nether is seeping through uh, i've done this before i'm sure a few different times but i thought you know what let's do a quick little time lapse to start off the video and uh, hopefully this will look kind of cool and uh you know what? i haven't done it with the new blocks uh, before so hopefully i can bring in some of the red vines and make it look extra epic let's go you wanted to join me with the let's go <laughs> i see how it is <laughs> Well, the vines haven't quite grown to where I want them yet, but I've put the string in so that they can do so. Uh, but it's time. It's time to da -da -da -da. light the board. A good thing I didn't miss any obsidian, isn't it? I also need the carpet, but, but I took that to the other project. It's all the way over there. I couldn't be bothered to fly. I'm using so many rockets just by forgetting items in different places. But anyway, here we go. Da -da -da -da. It, 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 you know, it's, it's cool. It's cool. I was thinking I kind of wanted to mix in some more blocks, but you know what? It actually looks quite good simple. I do kind of feel like I want to block that up though. Just so that it's fully covered and its purple gorgeousness is right back there. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is just uh, see what the coordinates are on that compared to this and then place uh, a proper portal in the... Um, nether as well in fact i yes i'm gonna pick that one up take all the obsidian with me and um yeah hopefully make myself a proper portal so we can at least start potentially on designing the nether tunnel in the uh, nether but let's have a look at it well long story short i'm still coming out in the roof of the nether apparently Esco wants to do something fancy up there and that's going to cause some issues so potentially we will have to move the portal i don't really know yet i'm going to contact Esco, sort all that out and hopefully fingers crossed we'll have a probably joint portal uh, to the nether hub and then he can do that fancy stuff on the roof that is separate and hopefully i won't interact with that because uh, it sounds scary what he has planned, so <laughs> I don't want to touch it or go anywhere near it. Well, I'm in dire need of some jungle saplings, and you'd expect uh, a place called Giga Logs. Actually, I guess if it's got, got log in the name, you'd maybe only expect logs. But I'm kind of expecting some saplings. You know what? That wouldn't actually make sense for the business model at all, would it? 
if they were selling saplings it would basically just be like grow your own and then you know you never have to come to us again no wait they don't even have jungle wait no they do do i how many wait how many jungle logs do i need okay 27 stacks oh <laughs> i don't have that many diamonds no 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 okay next best bet is greens so there are leaves uh, come on saplings has got <sighs> we're enough a moment to go for jungle saplings why and why did my jungle saplings that i planted and then grew and then well i'm a big dummy they were planted here all along but um i couldn't see it from away over there <laughs> my base is too large i think that i think that signifies it but also uh what i've learned is that they don't grow next to snow so i can leave these planted here forever and they will never grow by themselves i'm pretty sure so uh i guess good to know for the future shulker boxes is one di wait one diamond block mm, so see that one diamond per shulker just over ish also i seem to there seems to be a new one of it it oh a slime shop too <gasps> Oh, I thought it had like a bouncy castle in the middle. I was kind of excited. <laughs> it looks like, you know, you know, you know, you could build like little bouncy castles in Minecraft. I'm, I'm not going to buy from the shop until there's a bouncy castle. When there's a bouncy castle, I will buy from the shop, okay? Okay, th th there you go. And by the looks, there's been a, a new road put in. Which I guess I should hook my shop up to a bit. Wait! <gasps> okay, it ends here. It's actually kind of smart because I don't know. I don't know how far this is coming forward yet, but uh Oh, it's only a little ditty road to oh, you know what? That'll look quite nice. We can make we can make this work for sure, but it looks It looks good. Um I, I, I don't know. Do I deserve a little bitty road? Or do I deserve a big road? I I don't know. Who who decided on this? Hmm. Am I le am I less? Am I less of a shop? Because I got itty bitty road. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm gonna have to get you guys in the comments to let me know what you think. Um, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm not sure. But then again, I don't know who to complain to because I don't know who is working on the roads. That looks amazing down there. Ooh, that looks lovely. And speaking of lovely, Exit Shop is kind of amazing. Oh, that skull at the top. Oh, in the in the skeleton hand. Oh, beautiful, beautiful axe. Great, great job. Great job. Is there anything else to do? Not that I can see. Okay. I do need to restock. <laughs> I'll do that later on in the episode, maybe. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I, I, I say that as if I have anything to restock it with. I really don't. <laughs> oh, magic restocker of my shop. Where, where art thou? Please let me know. Thank you. And also, there's not even... Yeah. Okay, you know what? I have a, I have a bone to pick with the, the person that made the road, okay? I have a bone to pick with them. There you go. There's a bit of a step. <laughs> Are you a real creep? Uh, what the heck? I just want to try and find the mesa, okay? <laughs> I don't know where it is. I'm going down all the numbers and I can't seem to see it. There's no signpost. There's no nothing. And all the old stuff seems to have been removed, so I have no clue where anything in the in the nether is now. I think that this will be the best option eventually, um, but without any signposts, without a little book at the beginning, it's 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 proving quite difficult. And I wish I had the time um, to help Tango finish this up, but yeah, um, I don't currently. Uh, but hopefully in the future I will. But I can't figure out where on earth the mesa and desert would have been. So we're swiftly moving on to the new project, uh, which I have slightly mapped out. <laughs> this is the worst mapping you will have ever seen. Uh, ignore this bit that went up high. I kind of... <laughs> I think I got lost. No, I think I ended up climbing up there because I couldn't bother to dig it out. And then I ended up like... Uh, I don't know what this bit is, actually. Kind of confused. But anyway, whatever. Anyway, I've been mapping it out um, to sort of visually show you the set, the scale of this thing, um, which, yeah, it's tall. So I think what I'm going to focus on first is the entrance. That's the main thing we're going to do today. That might be an issue. Didn't think about that. Might need some torches around there. But basically, I'm going to figure out the entrance first, which is this. Uh, this is going to go further back that way. As you can see, I've started digging out. And then it's going to go down into some stairs then it's gonna go i think left uh across and then it's gonna hook up to the stairs that are there i think that's the plan and yeah in general it's <laughs> 
this is going to be a tricky thing to build especially to build in sections uh, but i'm very very excited to do so so i guess let's roll ahead and do a bunch of digging because it's going to be a bunch to do mostly in this front area and then luckily the rest is mostly dig free so that's a bonus but let's get on with it and the road is done it's not done but it's it, this this part of it's done and i have built this up uh, to potentially be the right size for the entrance uh, which i wanted to be quite large i wanted it to feel proportionate to the farm itself uh, and so i think that this is a good size entrance for the farm uh, the factory even not the farm the factory there's gonna be multiple farms in here like even more than i've got now and i'm kind of excited this is my first time i think ever putting all my farms in one place it's probably not ideal uh like you know uh, for a lot of reasons but but ignore that uh we're experimenting this season uh and to be honest this is quite an experimental build i'm not very good at building factories uh and things like in this build palette but we'll, we'll see how it goes uh but uh i built the staircase uh i'm gonna change this middle block for something else i'm not sure i might I might maybe make it the deep slate like there potentially or maybe some wood i'm not really sure what else i want to bring in color palette wise but there's also a staircase down here and then a pathway here that's gonna i'm guessing oh yeah there it is hook up there kind of nicely once i've dig out a little bit more uh, of the land here i'm also i think going to border this oh, uh, border this uh, staircase with these blocks just so that the whole thing I don't know. Oh, I want this down here and the factory itself to all match and all work together. So, yeah, that's that's the kind of gist that I'm going to go with. Not going to lie, this looks kind of crazy right now. I think I went a bit over the top with the framework, but hopefully it'll look a little bit more subtle. I even missed a bit here. My bad. Okay, mobs, calm down. Calm down. Anyway, uh, it gets a little bit close to this, but I think I've worked out that it shouldn't. they shouldn't land on here. It, or, or up there uh it should be okay because they drop from where is the drop zone oh wait wait we're gonna see these guys drop look see they drop a little bit over that direction yeah there you go they land about there so this shouldn't be in the way so we should be good in that respect but i think what i will do is in certain areas where i don't want you to be able to see uh like what's going on i can maybe build like a bit of a like a wall to like block off yeah, and I think that'll look quite cool. I will have to figure out lighting. I've currently just spam torches everywhere just because this is generally quite a dangerous area to have mobs running around in because they can just blow up anything. Um, and a lot of it's going to be a pain to rebuild again. But yeah, I think if I do things like that, that'll kind of work. And I might do it this side too, just so you don't get the, the mess, messy view of this. I kind of don't know if you want to be able to see this or not. Maybe I should open this area up. I don't know i think it's it, this is going to be a bit like a building a maze almost i feel like but i feel like it's quite challenging in that respect so i think this is going to work uh but i'm building it piece by piece and it's just going to be really really nice to have a proper area down here whilst we're building the walls of the actual building because it's going to be really difficult to get in if i just start building the walls and don't have some stairs or anything like that and this is when i realize just how tall this farm is and just how many blocks i'm gonna need to do this whole thing this might end up like my main base where i've only got the front facade at the moment no interior well this you know what the, the interior is down here so that it, it's gonna end up being one ahead of my main base even i think uh so let me quickly add the one last section here and uh, then we'll take a quick look back
Oh, well, I thought I would skip uh, showing off the little tiny bit that I was said I was going to do and just uh, go right with the time lapse and get this thing done. I'm actually talking over this because I recorded this, uh, muted, and then continued the, with the time lapse in, in just a second, which you'll, you'll see. So that's me looking at some items on the floor. Uh, <laughs> it's so weird recording like this. But basically, what I'm saying here is that I decided to add these little archways with walls for some reason. I don't know if this is going to work with the glass that I have planned, but I have decided that I think the roof of this tunnel here is going to be, I think, the same as the roof of the farm up there. Um... Because I think it'll work better overall. And to be honest, you're going to be wanting to stand really far back, further than this tunnel will go, to see the whole farm factory in action anyway so uh yeah anyway it's time now to work on this a bit above here uh where there's this uh i guess level that's here and i'm just gonna work on the two sides add the windows like i said which you aren't gonna be able to see through but i'm, I'm gonna have to make sure they're dark on the other side and hopefully this will look cool so let's get on with it And I know what you're wondering. What does it look like? Well, I'm not going to show No, I am going to show you. It's okay. Uh, don't worry. <laughs> I'm not going to like make you wait an episode. Imagine I was just like building and then didn't show you that. That could be that could be interesting. Oh my goodness. I need to lay up some areas. I got, I've got a spider infestation at the moment. But yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with this. I think once we've changed the roof, because flat is not going to work, I think I just want to go with a very, very slight gradient down that way, a very slight gradient that way, and actually maybe at the front and the back too, just so it's a bit more of a triangular, if that explains it well, I'm not sure. But I love the gradients down here. Originally, actually, with this design, I had a plan to just have it, a lot of it very, very brick colours, uh, just using these colours that are in this part of the brick, the terracotta, the granite, and the polished granite. But then I was like, there's just, the thing is, with, with with Minecraft, there's like a very big lack of shadows. And this bit under here, I mean, that might not, might help uh, if I blocked that in. But basically, this area under here, other than at night time, which it's becoming, it looked super duper bright. There was no contrast. It didn't look separate than this section here, which is, what, like at least seven or eight blocks in front of it. So, yeah, I just wanted to really sort of push that back. And doing dark colours does. It pushes things back. It makes it look a lot darker. See, at night time, it looks great. But this is the shadowing that you do not have during the day. So yeah, at night time looks great. This really stands out, this archway. But during the daytime, it doesn't. So I might fiddle around with it and maybe put even less brick under here if I decide to in the future. But I think that really adds contrast. And then again, up there, I've added the light color, which is a bit weird and maybe a little bit backwards because... Technically, that's going to be under shadow, but we're not going to worry too much about that. I do like it when people do use the darkness to, uh, you know, signify shadows, but I don't think I'm going to worry too much about that. Uh, but anyway, I am going to have a little nap down here, <laughs> go all the way around to my bed. And um, you know what? We actually probably do need a bedroom in here somewhere because I don't think this is really ideal. But eventually we'll add stuff like that and that'll be cool. So it seems I have very, very limited uh, white glass. I have, what, like, not even five stacks. And I do have a good amount of dark oak slabs because I had... Yeah, look at all... These are all the resources I'm getting together. Look, look at how much I still need to gather. There's, there's, there's a bunch. There's a bunch I still need to gather uh, to actually finish this thing off, which I'm hoping to do maybe in two more episodes... I do have a potential plan for a building out the front here that helps connect it to my main base. Uh, and also, I, I mean, there's going to be a lot of digging. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of getting rid of some of these icy mountains for sure. But anyway, I'm going to do the roof here uh, just because it's going to be quicker and easier than that one. That will show you what I, I mean by doing that roof. And then, oh yeah, I was also thinking about how I want to do the outside of this because I don't I don't love how that looks and I was like you know what let's use a, a dropper block um and I guess place it like mm, like this I guess let's pick that one back up but yeah if I did like a row of those 
maybe with some fences across or oh hmm i was gonna say anvils because it's similar color to that but that's gonna be changing you know what i've got an idea let me try it out try this roof out put as much glass as i can put down and that'll have to be it for a wrapping up <laughs> this build for today uh but i do want to head back to the shopping district to check my shop real quick because i feel like i've either had some sales or something's happened i don't know exactly what but we'll go figure it out just adding the finishing touches. I think I'm going to add the chisel blackstone blocks. I was just looking for something fancy. I think we'll leave it there. Actually, no, I guess I could put another... No, yeah, we'll leave it there because I don't know what's happening over here. I think I'm planning on putting a staircase down to this level, but <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I guess it's moment of truth time, standing back and having a look at the whole thing. I do actually really like this. I like this side of the block. I guess it's the side of like a furnace as well. Well, the furnace has the two-tone and drop no that wait that's a dropper i think it's dispensers that they also look the same and maybe observers anyway they're more expensive they're the cheap ones <laughs> no expense spared on my build today oh uh, my goodness anyway i really like it guys let me know what you think uh let me know what other colors you'd like to see me mix in i really really want to because this is absolutely not at all going with my main base i want to bring in some prismarine kind of color um or maybe even just the, the sort of bluey gradients that i have over at my main base with this and then of course the the, the same trees that i'm going to build at my main base as well but I, I guess i don't know let me know what you think what kind of things you should i add also more importantly what farm shall i add because i still have loads of room for farms down here i really really want to expand my farms down here and potentially make a profit so any good farms that are you know good for the overworld let me know i want to make them and zf keeps dying that's like the third time i've seen that today poor zf but overall i'm really happy with the project so far do let me know what you think i love your suggestions and your feedback it, it, it makes my day reading it through so uh thanks so much for watching that's gonna be it for today's episode oh wait no i meant to go to the shopping district let's do that real quick well here we are again back at the roads the roads da, 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 da. no one's improved my road have they no it's so sad such a sad road enough about the roads we spoke about them earlier right uh i don't know if it's this shop i could be the glass shop actually that maybe i thought something had happened with i don't know i don't know let's have a look in here though <gasps> oh my goodness me asking for for the copper person to come and restock they 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 have are they hot is there someone here? I feel like I feel like maybe I'm being watched and they're just keeping an eye on whenever this this uh is unstocked. It's weird. It's like uh, it's like the opposite of buying something. You, they're just like leaving something behind. <laughs> I can't complain. I can't complain. This might this might end up going all the way around and like coming back at me at some point. I also still need to gather some cop. You know what? I really need to do some mining sessions. I think that's the main thing I need to do. Uh, anyway, um, also still have decided did what exactly is going on in here. Hmm. I feel like I need to make some space in here for some other farm as well, other than just these two. But I don't know what what could go in the bean can. You know, that's a good question. What could go in the bean can with the bean shop plus the, the, the honey shop? Um, you know what? There could be some third third shop in there, potentially. I feel like it's such a good space to not waste. So we'll think about it. Anyway, for real this time, that's going to be it for today's episode. Be sure to leave a like if you didn't just subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys all in the next episode. See ya!